Well, um, I always get asked about citing sources, and I do plan to do a, a um, more extensive Back to Basics video on citing sources eventually, um, but I thought I'd give you just a little, a little taste of what that would include um, now. So um, if we can look at my computer screen, I've got a website here um, that you may want to go to, um, and I'm going to talk to you about some things from here. So we're talking about MLA citations. This would be something for your language arts class. Um, there are different ways to cite sources using APA style or um, MLA, which we're going to talk about, um, even Chicago style. When you um, encounter different classes, um, you're going to be asked to cite things differently. But for all of your language arts classes, you are going to use the MLA format. So that's the website there. We can go ahead and um, go off my screen now. Um, hopefully you've got that. Um, but the OWL um, Resource Lab is a really great source um, for you to use um, for citing sources. The main thing about citing sources is you want to avoid plagiarism. Um, hopefully your language arts teachers have talked to you about this. Unfortunately, sometimes your history, math, and science teachers don't. And so if you do have to um, write a report um, or research something or compose some, some kind of essay for another kind of class, you might think, oh, well, I can get out of this by just copying and pasting something from the internet. Don't do it. Um, hopefully your teachers will recognize um, that you have been writing one way all year and now it's totally changed um, and they'll realize that it has been plagiarized. Um, when you do plagiarize something, um, if you're in college, you're going to risk uh, being kicked out of college. You're going to risk losing a scholarship. If you do it in your profession, you're going to lose your job. Um, throughout this year, in the past couple years, we've had a lot of politicians, journalists, even actors um, who have been caught plagiarizing and their credibility has gone down the drain. Um, when you show that you're not citing the sources that you're using, you're showing that you're a thief, um, that you're not thinking for yourself. Um, but there's a fine line between looking like a thief and looking like a scholar, and that is using the um, citing uh, your sources tools. So um, the website that I provided for you shows you um, that you have to cite anything that you steal from someone else. Um, you've got to give credit where credit's due. If you paraphrase, if you quote directly, or if you summarize somebody else's words, thoughts, ideas, numbers, statistics, facts, even opinions, you've got to cite these sources. And like I said, you look like a scholar rather than a thief. All you have to say is, this is where I got these ideas, and you look like a scholar. Um, so you have to not only cite your sources in the text, but also at the end of the text. And like I said, I'm going to do a longer Back to Basics video on this because there really is a lot of information um, involved with citing sources. But the main thing that you need to keep in mind is if it didn't come from your brain, you need to cite it. You need to tell where you um, got this information from. Um, this includes numbers, um, statistics. Unless you went and physically counted all of the people that in were involved in this study, then you're, it's not your information, okay? Years, like dates, uh, specific dates, those need to be cited. Like I said, you have to cite it in the paper. That's, just, that's called an in-text citation or parenthetical documentation. And you have to cite it at the end in a work cited page. This is all MLA. Um, if you're doing uh, APA, you might do a bibliography, you might do a reference list. Um, for other uh, types of uh, citations, you might even do footnotes, but that's a little more advanced. Um, you're typically dealing with these kinds of situations in your language arts classes. That's why you're using MLA style. You can Google MLA citations. Um, there are these things called citation machines that can actually help you form the end of text. Uh, citation, the thing that would go on the Works Cited page, but you need to know how to do this manually because, first of all, these things are on the TCAP, the ACT, the SAT, um, wondering, you know, like they're asking you if a source is cited correctly. You also need to be able to look at what the citation machine online has given you and evaluate whether or not that's correct um, or not. So, um, Again, go to that website to uh, learn about how to cite sources, but also catch us um, on a later episode, and I'll talk about this in a Back to Basics video.